everybody, I hope that you're doing well and welcome back to GROW. Today, I'm gonna take you with me as I do my weekly plant care routine. This routine really helps me to be more mindful with myself and more present with my plants. So I hope that this is useful and let's get to it. Okay, so as I said, I usually do this every week, usually every Saturday, and it's a very nice time just to take care of the plants, to make sure that they're doing fine, and also just be more present with myself. This routine can be used for one plant or 100 plants. So I hope that this is useful for you too, and let's get to it. The first thing that I do every Saturday is to check if my plants need water. So if you watch my videos, you know that I usually check the soil with my finger. So I'm gonna show you with this ivy right here. So the way that I check is I put my finger inside the soil until the second knuckle. And yeah, so this feels kind of dry. So I know that this one needs water. So I'm just gonna put it away. I usually separate the plants that need water in the week. And we're gonna put it right here. So now let's separate the other plants. here of course it has this really big leaf but then when you go really close to the stem you can see that here we have some bumps here and this means that new leaves are coming out so it's one and two okay so once we have separated our plants that need water we can start watering them what i usually do is i put some water in a bucket and i let it stand for a day or two and this helps me to get rid of some of the chemicals that come in tap water so especially chlorine which is not good for our plants so we usually do that before watering because we're in the growing season right now i'm actually fertilizing my plants every time we water them this is because we're using an organic fertilizer so it's not so concentrated so we can use it every week pretty much but of course please make sure to follow the instructions on your fertilizer because uh, depending on how concentrated it is you may want to not fertilize your plants so much uh, but because it's an organic fertilizer we can actually do it okay you guys so this is the watering system that we use to water our plants uh, as you may know i love to water my plants using the bottom watering method this is because this method really helps me get the water into the roots from below and make sure that the soil is not wet but actually just moist and uh, of course you can do this method with any kind of container you can use a topperware you can use a bowl a sink depending on the size of your plants but we created this structure because we have many plants as you can see so it just helps us be more efficient with the process and i will just show you how it works so we have this box right here the way that we do it is first i put as many plants as i can in the box then I water my plants from the top with the watering can and the water goes through the soil, through the uh, drainage holes and then the water stands in the box. Then I let my plants stay there for about 10 to 15 minutes so they can absorb the water. When my plants are absorbing the water, this is the perfect moment for me to check the leaves and just give them a good clean just to prevent pests or bugs. And I can tell you this is also a very good way to just be present with myself and with my plants. So the way that I clean them is actually with this solution here. I usually add, uh, most of the bottle is uh, water, and then I add some of Dr. Bruner's uh, organic soap. I really like this soap. I usually use the lavender one because I love the smell. 
and it's very good for our plants because it's good to clean but it also prevents pests so yeah i usually use this one now if i see that or i'm treating a plant that has pests um, what i usually do is i also add this solution here so for this one, I actually use the neem oil. So I use organic neem oil, and I usually add one cup of neem oil, it has to be organic, and then the rest is water. And I usually spread my plants with this solution, just in case, but this is usually when I see some pests in the plant. which is over here. Of course, you can put it on top of plastic bag or on top of the dish rack, for example, in the kitchen and just let it drain for about 10 minutes so you make sure that the water is not staying in the soil and the soil is moist but not wet. Okay, my friend, thank you so much for being my companion in this weekly plant care routine that we do at home. Uh, I would love to know if you have a plant care routine. So if you do have one, please make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. Also, if you are watching this live, you can also share it in the chat. Okay, my dear friend, thank you so much for this moment together. I'm sending all of my love to you and your plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao. Mwah.